Hi, Frank. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Um, this is obviously the first time John Murray's fought for you. How excited are you to see him fight on Saturday? Very much so. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, I'm pleased that he's decided to come and let us uh, get involved in promoting his career. Uh, this is a big fight from his 31st fight. He's got the longest unbeaten run of any uh, British boxer currently. So hopefully that doesn't uh, change. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a real atmospheric night. I think it's going to be good fun down at York Hall. And if he comes through this, we've got some good good fights lined up for him. What do you think makes him different to other fighters that you've got in your stable? Um, well, like, you know, all guys are different. I mean, with John, is that he's a very good trainer. He's got a good trainer in Joe Gallagher. He seems to have done, you know, got a good rapport and he's done, a, he's done really well with him. But I think with, um, with John is that he's got a winning mentality. You know, like, like, like fighters have winning mentality, but, he, you know, he is a winner. And uh, he feels he's the best out there and he feels he's ready to fight for a world title when he's very hungry and ambitious. So hopefully, as I say, I can guide him in that direction. As you said, he's got this 30 fight unbeaten record, but he's still relatively unknown. What do you think as a promoter you will bring that, for instance, Hennessy Sport hasn't already? Well, you know, he's had great press for this fight. I think he said himself he's had more press for this fight than he's had in his whole career. And uh, and that's what we, you know, what we do. That's what we're good at doing. You know, we, we, all, we do this. He's had, you know, in today's newspapers, there's been some good features on him and there'll be some more stuff coming up in the next couple of days. Um, you know, we need to make the world know that there is John Murray out there and he is a good fighter and, uh, you know, come and see him, tune in, watch him on Sky and see, you know, see that Britain may have another world, future world champion. And no one's actually seen too much of his opponent. People have said he's got a devastating left hook, but do you think it's tough for a boxer to sort of go in almost blind to it? Well, that's what they used to do years ago. You know, before there was uh, videos or whatever, you know, fighters are just basically fight guys on the strength of, you know, the judgment of the, the, what their managers had and what their the managers could find out with, you know, if a guy come from overseas. Um, you know, if John is as good as we think we are, think he is, and I, and I think he's an exceptional young fighter, then he should be able to do a job on this guy. You know, he's, he's going to come to fight. He's going to, he's, you know, the Spaniard, he's a, he's a Spanish champion. Uh, we hear he, you know, he's got a good left hook. He can, you know, he can punch. But you know, John's John's got a lot of experience, and he should be overcoming it. He doesn't seem phased by it. He seems quite happy to be, uh, you know, to be in the ring against this guy. So, um, you know, we're going to see on Saturday night whether we make the right decision in picking an opponent. But at the end of the day, you know, once the bell goes, anything can happen. Uh, anything can happen in boxing. Um, and you know, so John's John's hopefully prepared for the unknown, which is a good thing because it makes you train and focus even more so when, you, when you're not too sure of what you're facing. Well, hopefully, obviously, he will get the victory on Saturday. Do you see a world title shot next? Yeah, there's, gonna be, you know, there's a lot of things happening. I think Kevin Mitchell's coming down on Saturday night to watch him. There's a bit of rivalry there. But it's, again, it's another great... In, in Kevin Mitchell's backyard? Yeah, it is. he's come to his backyard to fight. You know, I was hoping that Kevin would be facing him uh, on Saturday, but we couldn't agree terms. It was a great shame because I think that it would be a good fight for both of them, and I think the public missed out on it. But he's down in there, and he seems to have uh, realised now that if he wants this fight, then he's got to he's got to um, refocus on what it what his demands are. Um, the fight for me is if if it comes off, if it does come off down the line, is one of the big fights out there in in this country, and. Uh, and hopefully it's one that the fans are getting won't be cheated out. Thank you very much. See you on Saturday. Thank you.